Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. We have another palette to put to the test. I know last week was an absolute disaster. And if ah, oh my God, it's gonna leave a mark. Hmm. Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. Not hot or not. I can't remember what day of the week it is. Oh my God. We are putting to the test another face and eye palette, which kind of makes me think, why am I doing this another week in a row? Last week, I tried out a Chanel travel palette. We all know how that went down. It was pretty freaking awful. I will link that video below. I think that may have been like the biggest fail WTF ever. And this one in front of me is from Tom Ford. It's even more expensive. It's $155. This is what the inside looks like. I think it looks like a peach warm toned dream without being too overly warm, which is actually my very favorite. This is the Soleil Eye and Cheek Palette and this is in the shade Warm. They have a cooler tone palette that I feel the blusher in there is just like so hot pink and it's more purple toned and I feel like I've been doing a lot of that lately. So we are gonna be testing out this one. I think the compact itself is freaking stunning. I love that you don't get your fingerprints on here. It stays nice and clean. It's really elegant. It almost reminds me of like a mini hard clutch like that you would carry with your party dress. Not really. I don't know. I'm reaching right now. Um, you do get the useless case. Let's all take a moment to admire the beauty of this cloth piece that I never understand why they put these inexpensive makeup. I think it's to make us feel a little bit better that we spent so much money, but really, no. And if you were curious, this is what the box looks like. It's very pretty. If you were giving this as a gift, I think that anyone who loves makeup in any capacity would see this and would be like, oh my God, it's just really beautiful. This is Tom Ford. You see the name, you know it's not gonna be inexpensive. You know it's gonna be over the top in every way. And I really do love Tom Ford eyeshadows. They are some of my very, very favorite. I always like to joke around that you can put them on without a mirror. They blend that easily. And I wanna see if the formula is the same in this palette because sometimes the formulation can change between the normal quads that they sell and palettes. So I'm gonna be putting this to the test, trying out all of this beautiful stuff right here, swatching it, wearing it, going about my day and doing a bunch of check-ins. So let's get straight to it. I'm gonna scooch you in a little bit closer and we are going to apply the makeup. These all have a little bit of shimmer to them, which oh, kind of drives me insane when palettes do that because I feel like I need something in my crease as a transition. So I'm gonna do that just because I want this to look good and it's just what I would normally do. I'm gonna take the shade Bake Sale from Makeup Geek and I'm going to take a Eblen brush and just warm up the crease just a little tiny bit with something matte. Using a MAC 242, I'm gonna take this shade right here, pack it on my brush, and this is gonna go all over my lid. And that is exactly what I expected. It is totally gorgeous, no fallout, really rich, really shiny, but not overly chunky. Now I'm gonna go into this rich chocolate shade right here and grab some on the tip of a crease brush and go on the outer portion of the crease. These are blending beautifully, much better than the Chanel ones. I mean, this immediately I'm enjoying. I hope it wears all day. It's doing what I need it to do, which is giving me like a nice blown out amount of pigment and just no time at all. I like shortcuts with my makeup. I don't want to spend an hour trying to blend something in that doesn't want to blend. So I'm taking the excess on the brush and I am really fanning the inner portion of my crease. It's obviously going to be much lighter than what's on the outer crease because I didn't dip into color again, but it's still giving a nice shadow right here. And believe it or not, there is still more excess on this brush. So I am now kind of gently running this along the lower lash line just to create a tiny bit of a smudge. I don't want a lot of color under there. I don't want it to look harsh. I am just giving a nice little shadow. 
I am gonna take this gorgeous shade right here, which is like this minky chocolate brown. This is where I love Tom Ford shadows. When he puts glitter in shadow, it is the most sophisticated, beautiful, wearable glitter you have ever used in your life. This sticks in my head in such a major way, but Tom Ford designed his glittery eyeshadows to look like a sequin fall gown. So it would just be grabbing light and looking really beautiful and kind of shiny and wet and glistening. And I think they are just so stunning. I'm actually just gonna use my fingertip to apply that shade and I'm gonna go all over the lid. Beautiful. I'm gonna take this Makeup Geek Defined Crease Brush and I'm gonna grab that golden shade and just put this on the inner corners of my eye. And that's where I'm gonna stop. I am going to line my eyes and put on some lashes. I will be right back. I'm kind of totally loving this eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I will be recreating this look because it did not take that long. And I have high hopes that this is gonna wear all day. It just feels nice and rich. And now let's play with a little bit of the face product that is in here. You get a blush and a highlighter. So I am first going to apply a little bit of blush. It's a really pretty color. It's blending nicely. Um, I don't know why in the past I just have not been the biggest fan of Tom Ford blushes. They just individually have never been worth the price to me. I feel like there's so many other options out there that are more affordable that do just as good of a job. But the, I mean, it's, this is not bad. It's in here, I'm gonna use it. This would make traveling really convenient. Um, you know, if you wanted to have your blush and highlight and eye stuff in one palette and then maybe pack a bronzer and some powder. Please know, whenever I say travel, I don't necessarily mean hopping on a plane. I mean, even if you're packing makeup to go to the gym and you just wanna get ready fast and have it all in front of you. So now we're gonna go into the highlighter. Oh, oh my God. So beautiful. Okay. To me, a lot of the time, highlight is highlight. And in fact, I have sitting here on my vanity, the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter that I think is fantastic that I used in my under five tutorial. And yeah, I mean like highlight is highlight, but sometimes every once in a blue moon, something will do such a beautiful job. And this is just stunning. You would not think that looking at the pan. It just looks like pressed powder with like nothing shiny in it whatsoever. I kind of can't even believe this. This is immediately impressing me. I really, really like how everything turned out. So let me scoot the camera back out and we will chat a little bit more. So you have an eyeshadow quad in here. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God, that was terrifying. You can actually see it hitting the ground and like just smashing into a bunch of pieces. I really feel like even though Tom Ford has some products that I'm not a big fan of, as a whole, when it comes to color and just how special some of the items are, it's one of my favorite expensive luxury brands. There is something about it. I don't even really know what, but the color selection, the tones, the way they wear, especially with the eyeshadow, I just think that this whole look is really flattering. Everything is meshing together beautifully. I love how it looks right now, but you guys know the drill. I am absolutely gonna do check-ins and we are gonna see how far we can push this makeup before it starts to crease, before the color fades away and everything kind of goes downhill. You know, so let's see how many hours we can get. I will check back in with you guys in just a little bit. Whoa, look at this. Are you kidding me? This tree is just in half. It's like an oak. I know. What a magnificent tree. That's right? So sad. so sad. Yay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, ask James this makeup versus the Chanel. What do I think? Oh, this is so much better. So much better, the right? Chanel was crap. It was horrible. It like was gone by the end of the day. All right, so it's dark outside. It's like five o'clock. It feels like it's like 10 o'clock at night and I have had such an insane day. Um, 
but I want to do a check-in and show you guys that the eyeshadow is still going strong. Zero fallout, zero little glittery fallout, which is so surprising with that type of top coat glittery number that they have in the quad in the palette. Um, so I'm really, really pleased with it. The blush kind of faded. That's a bummer. The highlight is still blowing my mind. I have so. something to say. Oh, okay. You know, I hear quite often that anytime something says Tom Ford on it, you're going to love it. Do you think, like, how much of this is the fact that it's Tom Ford, no, or... I hate on Tom Ford stuff all the time. Oh, okay. Some of their powders, I think, are crap. I did a WTF on blushes that I thought were awful, and... I just like what I like. I like makeup that stays put, that blends really well, that's easy to work with, that has rich color, pigmentation, feels luxurious. I mean, that's not too much to ask for, right? Well, that was such a softball question. People are gonna think that you asked me to ask that. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, no, really, I see that in comments, but you know, Tom Ford, I, I think you either love it or it really disappoints you because you paid so much for it. Eyeliner? For instance, the $60 eyeliner that I bought a year ago that still behaves like it's a brand new product. I don't even know how that's possible. I should probably throw it away just because of bacteria and get a new one, but it still feels brand new and like inky and works. And that one makes putting on your eyeliner such a dream. So a product like that, I'm like, wow, that's really, really special. But so it's like worth the splurge. It has nothing to do with the name to me. Well, you know? I thought your makeup looked beautiful today. Why am I getting so like passionate about Tom Ford? Because um, you're yeah. passionate about makeup. This is true. All right, I will check in with you guys in a little bit and I'll do a more close up zoom on the eyes, but nothing has creased, everything still looks great. And this is so much better than the Chanel palette. That's where we're at. And probably less expensive. No, it's more expensive. Is this Whole Foods ever not busy? The, I mean... It's the most popular Whole Foods in the whole wide world. It really is. With the tiniest parking lot. <laughs> I know, right? Mortified. I'm mortified. Mortified? I, I've been walking around the house in, like, Crocs. It's like house <laughs> shoes. We can see that. They're comfortable. And then I left the house accidentally. I'm driving. I'm like, oh my god. You know what I like? The white socks are just an extra, <laughs> extra nice touch. Ooh, James <laughs> looking so good. Leave me alone. I don't mind the Crocs. I'll still go in public with you. I do. I hate it. Makeup's still looking good. I'll do another check-in when I get home. We are grocery shopping and buying an excessive amount of Chia packets. Not sponsored. All right, so I am home for the night. It has been just a lot of filming today and a little bit of craziness because I'm going out of town to do Style Code Live on Saturday and my sister's baby showers on Sunday. I'm so excited. Um, all my sisters are gonna be together and that just rarely happens now that we all live different places. So that's awesome. I very clearly don't have much furniture in this home just yet. So I thought I would sit down in front of this light up mirror, but I don't think it's giving me enough. So I think we'll go upstairs in front of the ring light and see a close up of the eye makeup. Let's do that. So this is how I was filming inserts earlier. Maybe I should just like lie down with all of the light on me so we can see the truth of what's going on with my eye makeup. Ow! Ugh. All right, so I am literally underneath the ring light. You guys can see everything, probably more than I would like you to at this time of night, but here's the eye makeup. You can still see a lot of shimmer. It has not gone all over the place. I really love that about this eyeshadow. I think it's fantastic. Um, the highlight is really nice. You guys know by now from watching these videos that by the end of the day, my makeup is like meltdown. It doesn't really even matter. I wore a mattifying foundation today and I'm like shiny. <laughs> so I am ready to sign off from this video. My final thoughts are that I think this is an awesome palette. If you love Tom Ford, you will absolutely love this palette. If you are looking to give a gift for someone that is obsessed with luxury makeup, this is a home run. It's so beautiful. It's really well done. Do I think we all need to run out and get it? Like it's a life-changing palette? No, it's 
It's really not. I mean, I probably have other eyeshadows that are very similar, but I do think the quality is excellent. It is so Tom Ford through and through. Love that sparkly top coat. Love the highlighter. I am thinking I'm going to wear this to this big event that I'm going to tomorrow night, actually for Too Faced. I'm super excited. Um, something I didn't show you guys earlier. Look. I got like the craziest manicure with like straight glitter earlier. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna wear this tomorrow night. I'll probably be snapping a bunch and taking some pictures for Instagram. So if you wanna see more of this makeup, uh, you can definitely check out things that I post tomorrow. Other than that, I just wanna say thank you for hanging out with me. I have a really good hot or not tomorrow. It's actually what I'm wearing on my lips right here. It's a new product from L'Oreal. I am trying on the entire collection, all 14 shades. So definitely come back for that. And thank you again for watching. I will see you guys next time. Yeah.